All right, everyone, I just want to make a video here to discuss the attacks Zionists have done so far. A recent one was done by three Zionists in different countries. One guy was from England, another from Australia, and another one was a Mossad parody account, which was probably really Mossad. So listen up here, heinous anti-Semitic dude. You're really not off to a good start, are you? I live in Israel, not Australia. Everyone knows this. I've lived here for almost 20 years. At least do your homework if you want anyone to take you seriously. Also, the Mossad parody account is not really Mossad. Stop being ridiculous. Google it. It's all there. It's run by a guy, a funny guy, who also lives here in Israel. Now, why is it that three people who don't live in my country, in the United States of America, are so concerned with what I'm doing and what I'm saying? This is my country. Well, we are concerned because of things you have said on camera, which suggests you may be willing to use violence to achieve your nefarious goals. And I have the receipts. It's time to crush Zog, and now it's the time to do it. If you're going to be a true revolutionary, you must be prepared to lose everything, including your life. And if you're not prepared to die for your people, for your ideology, for what you believe in, you're not going to win. Now that I know who the true enemy is, now that I know what needs to be done, I'm willing to die. Given the number of Jews and others who have been murdered by your fellow white nationalists, Pardon me for being concerned. That was What was their plot? We're gonna run people in office and we're gonna give them health care and all this other stuff. And then they assume that that means we're going to flip and turn into authoritarian neo-Nazi murderers, which they're saying. This is what they claim, these Zionists. Now that is not what Joseph said at all. He said you are planning to implement fascism. And once again, I have the receipts. It's ironic because they support a Israeli death no state that's literally ethnically cleansing people. It is literally not. It is not ethnic cleansing when the Arab and Palestinian Arab populations are actually increasing. That you need DNA proof to even go back and return who doesn't even accept a Jew and non-Jew marriage. That is another lie. Israel recognizes civil, interfaith and same-sex marriages entered into abroad. They want to call us fascists. You call yourselves fascists. Because nobody knows what fascist means. Everyone thinks it's Hitler or, or something like this. It has nothing to do with that. Fascism is an economic policy. Nazism is a whole other story. Actually, fascism is a form of far-right authoritarian ultranationalism characterized by dictatorial power and forcible suppression of opposition. Details and claim that I'm training killers. None of us claim this at all. This kind of libel and slander could get a SWAT team to my house and kept knocking on the door and, and possibly hurt my family. No, your unhidden video rants speaking about being willing to die are what will bring the FBI to your door. And I'm sure they will leave your fa poor family out of it, assuming you don't do anything stupid. In fact, these Zionists who want to say, I want to violently overthrow the United States government, which is false. They're the ones sending death threats to my wife and myself. They're the ones telling me I'm going to get what I deserve. I'm going to get shot in the head. Mm -mm. No, we didn't say this. One silly woman said you will get shot in the head. But the Zionist wants to appeal to neo-Nazism, etc. Because that's what they do. Meanwhile, they're the ones who are literally following similar ideologies as the Nazis blood and soil we have to go back to our land this is our people you have to have certain dna to get into this country and live as a citizen you have to expel non-jews out and they can't be part of this country unless they submit to second class citizens they're the ones being like nazis another vile anti-semitic slur and untrue non-jews can be citizens of israel and can they even convert to judaism and non-jews are not treated as second class citizens here None of the things they've said do, does anything. They want to say I'm an anti-Semite. Even if I didn't believe anything they said ever, that doesn't make someone say or automatically hate people. But you have demonstrated time and again how you despise us Jews. I go by your words, 
Now, why don't you own them? And this is why I have to tell the FBI publicly in this video. Hey, FBI, which I know you're watching me. You know why I know you're watching me? Because you've come to my house before. And you've even told me you're watching me. If true, gee, I wonder why. I'm willing to bet it's not because you're playing loud music late at night. But I can say publicly, I am not plotting to overthrow the United States government in any way, shape or form, violently or otherwise. And if you were, you'd be telling the truth and you'd admit to it? Keep doing it, guys. You're gonna lose and you know I'm right and that's why you hate me and you're scared. Bravo, bravo. Great speech there, Angelo. But do you know what does scare me? The baby seat in the back of your car. God help your child who has to grow up with such a hateful father.